Yeah, the Obamas were here in 2009. One of the reasons being that Michelle Obama traced her route from here. Yeah, the husband is from Kenya, but she's from Ghana. Yeah. Then we have this final flag. I guess so. Uh, this flag was unveiled by Ghana National House of Chiefs in two, uh, 1992. Why? Because our local leaders were thespians in what happened to us. So in 1992, they came to eat humble pie to say we so sorry for being greedy and ignorant so that we could give people out in exchange for guns, gun power, the sugar factories. I need one person to read this for me. Aloud. Everlasting memory of the anguish of our ancestors. May those who died rest in peace. May those who return find their roots. May humanity never again perpetuate such injustice against humanity. We, the living, vow to uphold this. All right. This is a very great message, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, even though I, I don't trust the messengers, I trust the message. Mm -hmm. yeah, I do. If possible, we can do this because if it can be done, then we are done. Mm -hmm. I read a course in school called Geopolitics. And in that course, it says that we have three pillars of geopolitics. The third pillar states that you should not see our geographical conditions as irreversible fate. Meaning whatever state the country is right now can be changed. But before, before that is possible, you should know the cause of the state and the resources or the materials available to reverse the state. I guess so my question to us today is what were the causes of the transatlantic slavery? Ignorance. Mm. Selfishness. Right. Greed. Greed. Which is the mother of all miseries. You know, most of our tears are born out of our selfishness. Then I lay the questions for us. How do we uphold those when we got many politicians, a few leaders? How do we do those when we are still in the business of punishing small thieves while electing big ones into public office? Coming here, there is an assignment that we've got to do. Our very assignment is not recession of everything the verification is what I'm receiving into my spirit is it true and what do I go to find the truth you don't just read books you don't just read the scriptures you study them you press your mind on them ask questions you listen you watch asking questions don't ask the buildings built by the Europeans why because they might side with them if there is any person who can give you best and honest answers it is nobody but the maker when I say this, I mean now go around looking for mere fact. You suit your prejudice. You should look for the hard truth. The truth hurts, but it is one of the very things that set free. Looking at you right now, I, I have nothing of me to live with, but my name, Francisca, which means freedom. Good afternoon. All right.